Welcome to Cuba, a beautiful island nation known for its rich culture, history, and stunning landscapes. Let's start our journey in the capital city of Havana. Known for its colonial architecture, vintage cars, and lively nightlife, Havana is a must-see destination for any traveler. Take a stroll through the Old Town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. and visit landmarks such as the Cathedral of Havana, the Capitolio National, and the Gran Tetro de la Habana. Beach Resort Town of Varadero. Known for its white sandy beaches and clear blue waters, Varadero is the perfect destination for a relaxing beach vacation. Enjoy a variety of water sports such as snorkeling, diving, and fishing, or simply relax on the beach. There are also several luxury resorts in the area, as well as a variety of restaurants and bars. Colonial Town of Trinidad Known for its well-preserved architecture and vibrant culture, Trinidad is a step back in time. Explore the town's cobblestone streets. Visit museums such as the Museum of Colonial Architecture. And attend music and dance performances at the Casa de la Trova. Next, let's head to Cienfuegos. A city known for its French colonial architecture and proximity to the El Nica waterfalls. Take a stroll down the Paseo del Prado, a promenade lined with palm trees. And visit the Tomas Terry Theatre, a beautifully restored opera house. Another beautiful destination is the Vinales Valley. Known for its limestone cliffs, tobacco fields, and caves. Take a guided tour of the valley, go hiking and visit the Indian cave, which features underground pools and rock formations. Santiago de Cuba, located in the eastern part of the island, is known for its rich history and culture. Explore the city's historic center, visit the Moncada Barracks, a key site in the Cuban Revolution, and attend live music performances at the Casa de la Trova. Let's visit Santa Clara, the site of the decisive Battle of the Cuban Revolution. Visit the Che Guevara Mausoleum, which houses the remains of the revolutionary leader, and explore the city's historic center, which features colonial architecture and monuments. Cuba is a melting pot of cultures, with a rich history and vibrant customs. Let's take a closer look at some of the local culture and customs of this beautiful island nation. Music and dance are an integral part of Cuban culture, Salsa, rumba, and sun are just a few of the popular music styles that originated in Cuba. Visitors can catch live performances at venues like the Casa de la Trova in Havana, Trinidad, and Santiago de Cuba. Cuba is also known for its cigars, which are made from tobacco grown in the western province of Pinar del Rio. Visitors can take a tour of a tobacco farm in Vinales and learn about the process of making cigars. Cuban cuisine is a mix of Spanish, African, and Caribbean influences. Visitors can try traditional dishes like ropa vieja, shredded beef dish, or arroz con pollo, chicken and rice dish. Seafood is also a staple, with dishes like paella, ceviche, and grilled fish. Religion also plays an important role in Cuban culture. Christianity, in particular, Catholicism and Santeria, are the most widely practiced religions. Visitors can witness religious processions and festivals, like the Feast of Our Lady of Charity, which is celebrated throughout the island in September. Street parties and festivals are also a big part of Cuban culture. Visitors can experience the vibrant atmosphere of local celebrations like the Havana Carnival, which takes place in late July or early August. Whether it's music, food, religion, or festivals, Cuba's culture and customs offer something for everyone. So, come and experience the rich heritage of this beautiful island nation. Practical information to help you make the most of your visit. First things first, US citizens are required to have a valid visa to enter Cuba. Tourist visas can be obtained through a travel agency or directly from the Cuban government. Next, let's talk about currency. The official currency in Cuba is the Cuban peso. But US dollars are also widely accepted. However, it's important to note that a 10% penalty fee is charged when using US dollars, 
so it's recommended to convert your money to Cuban pesos or use a credit card. Transportation in Cuba is mainly by bus and taxi. Havana and other major cities have good public transportation options. But it's worth noting that cars in Cuba are mainly from the 1950s and 1960s, and may not be in the best condition. Accommodation options in Cuba range from luxury resorts to budget-friendly guesthouses. However, it's worth noting that electricity and hot water may not be available 24-7. The official language in Cuba is Spanish, but many locals speak some English, especially in tourist areas. Cuba is generally considered safe for travelers, but it's always a good idea to be aware of your surroundings and keep your valuables secure. Healthcare in Cuba is generally good, but it's a good idea to have travel insurance and to bring any necessary prescription medications. Cuba has a tropical climate with warm temperatures year-round. The rainy season is from May to October, so it's best to visit during the dry season from November to April. Cuba is a conservative country, and it is respectful to dress modestly, especially when visiting religious sites. Internet access is limited in Cuba and it's not widely available, but internet cafes and Wi-Fi hotspots can be found in some major cities, hotels, and airports. Have you gotten something about about this video? Check out this other recent video and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified anytime we upload a new video. Thank you for watching.